How was uh, Hulk Hogan personally with you? Terry's been oh, he's wonderful to me. Wonderful to me. Uh, our rap, our rap was like this. Uh, he he just did everything because he was. You got to understand, in my opinion, the company and Vince were the car, the machine. Hogan was driving that machine because he was over so much. You know, he just come off that Rocky movie, right? Yeah. The Thunder Lips thing, and boy, after they dropped the belt on him, put the belt on him from Sheik, boom, off we went. And then that's when that's when merchandising, cartoons, records, everything you can imagine started happening in a big time. So any car that you owned when Hogan was on, you were gonna make a lot of money. Because see, we didn't have, brother, we didn't have contracts back then. Well, no contract. He got paid per show. I had no contract. I mean, I'd get my I get my sheet and I'd see, you know, I did the I did Des Moines, Denver, uh, you know, Orlando, blah blah blah. And I, I just I get paid like that. That's that's the way it was then. And the shows that Hogan <clears throat> was on, that's you get more money because it depending on where you were in the card, you'd make more money. And with me, I got over so good, me and him were tagging together. So man, I was at the top, you know. And then I'd work around with me and Andre on top, you know, and then I'd work around different kinds of uh, scenarios with different people and work against Andre and somebody. Yeah. It was all great. But Hogan was a big deal. And you got to remember at one time, we had three shows a day going. We had a East Coast squad, a middle of the country squad, and a West Coast squad. And we had so much talent. You look at the roster we had. You had your, you had your Pipers and your Orin Doris and your Junkyard Dogs, your Jesse the Body Ventures, your little Hillbilly Jims, of course Hogan's and your Andre the Giants, and it went on down the car. And they just so we could build everywhere, and we made it. They made it strong. But Hogan would always say, "Hey man, I want you to get over good. He's because I'm gonna need some help out here. I can't do it all myself." Which is true. So that's kind of the way the deal was, you know. And you got to realize too. So here's the thing: that most of the boys. Are. One time I wrestled 63 straight nights. And I flew 53 of those 63 days. I mean, they don't let the airlines people do that. Yeah. 